hi in today's video we're gonna talk about this temperature sensor W1209 it's one of the really good modules I've seen I've ever seen because it's really easy to use and uh, it's reliable so we've got here this sensor and we've got display here like seven segments seven seven segments dips display and we've got push buttons here one is for set and uh, one plus and mind so you can go up or down and we've got the negative and uh, the positive is tw 12 volt which is common uh, we've got K1 K K0 and K1 that's the, the normal open for the relay so I'm gonna show you now how this works 12 volt DC and now I'm gonna now I'm gonna wire this so I need to put the ground first So now, so for my case today, I'm gonna use the this fan. It's 12 volt DC. to get a wire from Kawan it goes straight to positive from power supply and uh, the positive from the fan goes to K0 and what we've got left now is the positive and the negative for our module they go straight to the power supply positive and positive I put a negative first and positive ok to the positive on the power supply so I can, yeah, as you can see here our room temperature is 25.3 so with this module you can set it up uh, for like for cooling or for heating so we're gonna try first the cooling system what I need to do I need to press set once you can see this blinking so to change this I'm gonna put it on like uh, 27 I want my room when it gets to 27 I need my fan to work so to make my room cooler so I'm gonna press my till I get to 27 and press set to memorize it so our room temperature now is 24.5.6 so if I put my finger like this my body's temperature if it rises above 24 if it gets to the temperature that we put 27 see how fun start cooling our room 
so. It's cool now. It's going down now. See? So when it gets to 24 point If it gets below 27 I mean It'll stop straight away Because that's the temperature that we desired There we go. See when it gets to 27, it stop. So now let's try. Uh, put, let's try the heating system. So, like we like for example, we've got this room. Our room temperature is 25, 20, 25, 26.4. We need, we need our room to get to. So now I need to change it to the heating system. So the first thing I need to change the configuration of the, my model. Uh, I need to go to heat set. I need to hold it for like five seconds. Actually, I get that P zero. Hit it again. You see here, cool. See, I need to change it with minus and positive. That and press set to memorize it. So now it, our, my fan will start after a little while. See, that means it's working. I need to check now the my temperature, my desired temperature. I need to press set once. So it's 27. So, so when when my my room temperature gets to 27, uh, my heater will stop because this is now working as a heater. So I'm gonna try it with my solder here. So when it gets when my room temperature gets 27, it'll show up straight away. See. means the room is, is warm enough yeah, because it reached that my desired temperature which is 27 degrees Celsius so so the temperature control range for this module is between 50 to 110 degrees Celsius and the resolution is at 9.9, 99.9, 0.1 C. Uh, the measurement accuracy is 0.1 C. Uh, the input power, as we say, is 12 volt. See here, gets 26. Our heater starts working when the temperature gets to 27 stop so uh, the waterproof is 0.5 for this sensor that means you can dip it in liquid or leave it outdoor like this uh, the static current is 35 milliampere the current is 65 milliampere so as you can see here I'm gonna go with you now through through some descriptions. You can see here this zero P zero heat C and H. Uh, it's this one when you go and choose between cool between cooling or heating. It's this one heat or cool. And uh, P1 is backlash, it's from 0 0.5 to 15. That means if you, when you set up a desired temperature, 
do you want it when it gets like for example if you set up 27 degrees when it gets to 27 straight it goes to the, the, the relay works straight away or do you want it like uh, the, the below that uh, three degrees four degrees five degrees you've got the choice from 0 0.5 to 15 and you've got a P2 is upper upper limit and P3 lower limit upper limit we said 110 degrees uh, P3 lower limit is 50 we've got a correction is minus from minus 7 to 7 we've got a delay start time when you're just starting on your model you want it to start from you've got from 0 to 10 minutes and you've got high temperature alarm you know when it it gets to above that alarm that 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 figure it will stop and you'll see like just like some dashes and when it gets to the our desired temperature it'll, it'll start again you know working uh, if you want to reset all the value the values you know you need to press long press plus and and the uh, negative for long press and you will have like like a default factory I think so that's it for today I hope you enjoyed watching my video if you don't mind press like share and subscribe that would be great thank you very much till next video bye